Hey, it's Clay at ClayJordan.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Tuesday, December 13th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple of clarif clarifications. Number one, the price you see right there will be moving around and changing. And the candlestick you see right there will be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame. I mean, each one of these candlesticks here, again, as they're called, represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, HTGM, absolutely monster move here. And now we have a nice pattern headed into Tuesday. So let's first map out the first part of the pattern. And you know, this is the level that you gotta think a lot of people are watching right up here at the $1.75 mark. So this is not a great discovery. I'm not trying to impress you with like, imply this is some sort of special skill. A lot of people are watching that level. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same levels and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can definitely produce some very dynamic movement. So no guarantees, but it's valid, it's rational to think that if the price can make its way back up to that area that's presented problems before, but then get up through it, that that break in and of itself could very well create some good solid upwards follow through. So keep an eye on that from a resistance standpoint in terms of areas of support and pullback areas. First level right here at $1.13. If that level doesn't hold up, then the next level would be down there, that uh, former breakout point. Quite a bit of ways away, down at 75 cents. But that is the catch 22, right? When you have big, huge explosions, it does tend to create spaces between areas of the supports. And that's what we have here. But all in all, Nice movement, nice volume. The week is young, only Monday, so let's see if the momentum can continue over the next few days. Next one, TNXP, an absolute train wreck, but for you longer time viewers, you know what I'm gonna say next. There can be opportunity in the ugly, and no doubt about it, this thing has been very ugly. Made a move all the way up here, and I think that, you know, true story, people were buying up around there. The only to fall and fall and fall. However, where it's fallen to is an interesting level because you can see you have a purple line and a pink line there. You also have this gap close location right around the same general area, and let's just call it 38 cents. Now, let me be very clear. Just because you have all these supports down here does not mean that for sure guaranteed if the price goes on there, it's gonna bounce back upwards. But it goes back to that talking point of, is it at least rational? Is it reasonable to think that it could? Yeah, absolutely. By no means could somebody say that 38 cents is some sort of random area on the chart. So if you do like to play these situations where it's everybody's panicking, everybody's leaving, everybody's you know panicking and leaving and panicking and leaving, and then it's one of those things where where, where does all of a sudden things just turn around because too many people have panicked and I could see it being right at 38 cents, but once again, not guaranteed. Uh, so that's why you gotta have risk management. You gotta have stop losses because if this thing just continues to bleed and bleed and bleed, you don't wanna turn into a bag holder. But from a risk reward standpoint, assuming you can be disciplined, you could structure yourself a nice trade plan. Next one, FFIE and a nice little pattern here. So we go back to that whole idea of self-fulfilling prophecy and a lot of people watching the same areas. So the first part of this pattern that you gotta think a lot of people watching, right up there around the 48 cent mark. Bottom part of the pattern, right down here at that area of support right there, which sets it essentially at the 40 cent mark. And then let's just make it all one color so you can see the pattern a little bit better. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the move upwards right there, and this would be known as a bull flag pattern. And it's nice that, as any volume analysis will tell you, during the sideways movement, which you can see right here, you correspond that to the volume, and volume has dropped off quite a bit. So good to see that volume has dropped off during this consolidation period. So again, no such thing as a guarantee, but is it valid to think that if the price starts to come back up here, as volume increases and then get a break up through that level, that that break could create additional buying pressure? Certainly a valid uh, thought process to have. Now I put this one here, ticker symbol H-A-R-P, for the reason of, if you're saying, well, geez, that looks kind of familiar with what we just looked at, I agree. So I'm gonna not spend a whole lot of time here, but we have our resistance in this situation. Now, of course, it's different from the point of view of, you know, the price levels being different. The previous one with this penny stock, this one's a little bit more, you know, expensive, quote unquote. But we have the top breakout area right there at $2.85. We have this bottom part of the area down here at, let's call it $1.88-ish as far as support. And then... We'll just keep it all one color again. And then there, there's a nice move up. Now, the one question mark here, and this is why I like to do these when the market's open, check it out. As I speak, it's testing the bottom of the pattern. So when you watch this, ask yourself, where's the price at relative to this dollar eight mark? If it's way down here, then this whole setup potentially destroyed. Now, it could very well turn into a setup 
where things are getting ugly and you could try to play some sort of bounce off the 50 period moving average. So that could be a secondary play if the price does ultimately crash down through this level. But like I said, as I speak right now, you can see price is doing battle with that level. So like I said, because the market is still open for a while, you will have to ask yourself, well, where did the price ultimately close relative to this dollar 88 mark? And if, like I said, if it crashes down below there, then that 50 period moving average could very well come into play. But if it holds and bounces back up, well, then you go right back to, you got to think a lot of eyeballs are watching 285. Next AMC and overall, held up like you would want to see it hold up as it came down to that area of support at right around 5, 560 and did. Not only did it hold strong, but actually got a nice little bounce from it right there. So it is getting some sideways movement. So is this some sort of bottom? Maybe, just maybe. Uh, by no means, and I wish I could say trade was this easy. I wish I could say that just because the price starts to go sideways, that for sure guaranteed this is the bottom. Uh, but yeah, it, it takes a little bit more than that. But is it at least rational to think that it's some sort of bottom? Absolutely. Case in point, if the price was just dropping, 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 and I'm sitting here saying, hey, it's looking like this could be the bottom, you'd be 100% justified to say, what are you talking about? Based on what? But that's not the case here, right? It's at least started to go sideways. So maybe just maybe this thing has found some sort of bottom. As far as resistances are concerned, if it is going to be getting any sort of turnaround and momentum, first key level right there at the 598 mark. And then not that far above, you have the purple line there, the 50 period moving average valued at 609. So you're going to want to watch those couple levels. Uh, but yeah, to give some credit where credit's due, bounce from that support, came back down, is seemingly putting in a higher low right there. So we'll see if this can uh, kind of catapult itself to some more momentum on Tuesday. Real quickly, wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here in a couple weeks. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more, then certainly get signed up for the free live training. Next one, AMD, very, very nice recovery from this one. When you stop and think about the fact that at one point it was actually all the way down here during that opening 30 minutes, and it's now recovered very nice in the upwards direction. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done from the bigger picture perspective, but looking at today in a micro sense, just today, very, very impressive recovery, which is why I would now say that the, the muscle level moving forward is going to be right here at uh, 68.75. Why 68.75 so important? And I'm not saying at all this will occur, but for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down here, break below and continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, at that point, that'd be putting the price right back to where it was. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where it was, not exactly a sign of genuine power, true strength. So uh, if there is any sort of pullbacks, you want to see the price stay above there, because if it does, all of a sudden you'd have a set of lows there, you'd have those lows. And if you picture those as stair steps, you would technically speaking, start to have some stair steps in the upwards direction. In terms of areas of resistance, Next key, let me squeeze this down a little bit more. There we go. Next key area resistance, definitely gonna be down here around this top part of the former channel, right around 7150. So keep a close eye on that. But overall, very nice recovery today. Next one, APVO. And again, probably should have put this at a different location, but same general idea. There, This thing is looking ugly, but there can be opportunity, which I'm assuming you now default to, okay, well, Fair enough, Clay, but where is the ugly point? You know, where could this thing potentially find some buyers? And that's right down here at this former breakout point, which tends to act as support. So you have, like I said, that area right there, which just happens to nicely correspond with that 50 period moving average, the purple line right there at $3.85. So 385, again, by no means guaranteed, but uh, you know, is it a, a level that somebody could accuse you of being just totally random? No, I mean, that's a, that's a very uh, logical level where it could very well, you know, produ uh, produce some sort of bounce as far as levels of resistance. I think a lot of people will be watching that tread line right there. So if you don't necessarily like to play pullbacks, like to play potential turnaround breakouts, then, you know, the price coming up there and breaking through there very well could create a, uh, you know, a tradable opportunity. So definitely keep an eye on it. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And this one, had a very nice day on Friday. And for those of you that watched that video, um, you know, had the fantastic pattern, but the, at least the nice thing about it was it's not like Tesla broke out of the pattern and then made this move. It just flat out said, now gap down. And then during that opening 30 minutes, it just essentially dropped. So I guess to try to look at the gas is half, glass is half full. It could have been a lot worse, could have acted like it wanted to be bullish and then went bearish. But this one was essentially just bearish from the get go. And now it's, it's down at levels that have not been seen for a very, very long time. Uh, let's make sure that Oh, there we go. So the next level to definitely keep an eye on moving forward, which very much so seems within striking distance down there at the 166 mark, which is from these lows back here in late November. Um, so keep an eye on that if this thing continues to bleed. Once again, one of those areas where is it guaranteed to bounce from there? Of course not. But is there some rationale? Is there a logic of, okay, a potential double bottom where it could bounce? Yeah, absolutely. So keep an eye on that as that main area of support. And I'll zoom back in here now to see where some of these other levels are coming from. If there are any sort of bounces, in fact, let me just get rid of these lines if they serve their purpose. But if there are any sort of bounces in the upwards direction, first key area of resistance is going to be right there at the 170 mark. 
And the next level will definitely be that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, uh, you know, which was broken above this morning, but then you can see that did not last very long and then down it went from there. But yeah, overall, very, very rough way to start off the week here for Tesla, but the week is young, still four days left. So we'll see if the price can try to get things turned around. Next one, HCTI, and overall, nice little pattern here. So yeah, could have put this place uh, someplace else in the other part of the watch list, but you get the overall idea, I'm sure you didn't forget. But right up here, we have the top of the pattern, breakout area at 61 cents. Now right here, we have our support portion, and then get ready to say it with me. So resistance, support, nice upwards move here. We have ourselves another bull flag pattern. So I think three bull flags, if I remember, two on penny stocks and then one on a sub $5 stocks. So if you like lower price stock and you like bull flags, today was definitely your day. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that follows the NASDAQ. So if you think that the NASDAQ market is gonna rise, you could buy this one. And it's very popular because it allows you to get involved at a much lower price level. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some adjustments here that now we have more data. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this area of support right here via the trend line. Uh, down here a little bit more. So it still follows it very closely, but like I said, it got more data. So when you still correspond it back here, you can see an amazing job with these three data points to do a fantastic job of forecasting all that other than that one area that slightly got down below there. So a fake break down there, but overall the trend continues. Maybe it doesn't necessarily feel like a trend today since it dropped and spent the rest of the day kind of going sideways and recovering, but you can see late day here, nice move up. But the main bit of work that still needs to be done, as those of you from previous videos should remember, still got to get up above that uh, pink line there, the 200 period moving average. Right now valid at, we'll call it 2175. So keep an eye on that. But all things considered, good solid day because they did start off so rough and it did recover. Unlike some stocks such as Tesla, which we saw was still getting beat down. Uh, but overall, trying to head back up, maintain the support. So we'll see if this momentum can bring it up to that 200 period moving average there on Tuesday and then even potentially get the break up through it. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free train. It'll be next week, Thursday, December 22nd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos, if you enjoy these, do two things for me, please. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Those two things communicate to me that you are enjoying. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to put in the time and effort for these videos. So again, get signed up for that class. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.